video scribe is great. It it does its job and as it is quite great. I've been uh, satisfied with the quality of the design and animation. I've been so happy using this program. However, there's a one single downside. This program doesn't support Asian languages such as Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Yeah, those languages are not uh, compatible with this program. So what do you have to do if you want to type those languages uh, during your presentation or animation, you have to use third-party program. What I use is called iVinch. You can download it from app stores here or you can download it from the iVinch website, I guess. Uh, there are two versions here, the paid one and the free one. I, I tried with free one and I was quite happy with uh, the quality of the, the product so I decided to download it. It's, it was about two to three dollars. It doesn't really yeah, cost much. So I downloaded the paid version and I'm using it. Once you download and open the program, you will see the um, empty canvas like this. And what you have to do is just click on this T icon and draw a box. The size of the box doesn't really matter. What matters is the he here, the font font pixel. The size of the font here will be decided by this number, not by the box yeah, here. So it doesn't really matter. What you have to do is you have to type whatever you want to type here in your own language here, like to say, you don't need to know what it means. What matters is you can type uh, Asian languages using this program. What you have to do is you have to save as as a VG, which is a default, so you don't have to worry about it. So just uh, save as. Uh, okay, you can. Okay, I'm I'm gonna give it uh, three number three. Okay, and you have to bring it back using VideoScribe. Since this one is as a VG file, is not a um, text file. You have to treat it as image file. So instead of click on clicking on this one, you have to click on this. All right. You have to bring the image using this button here, and you have to bring this number three that I just created using iVinci Express, and give it OK. And tada! This is one. All right. Let's see how it works. Okay. Here, this is the this is the button for the preview. Okay. All right then. It works. It works fine. But however, this one doesn't follow. Um, the sequence of writing uh, correctly, but it does its job, so I don't complain. All right, this is the way how I type ancient languages on VideoScribe. So iVinci works, f yeah, pretty good for me. The, I, I'm sure there are other programs available for typing ancient languages, but iVinci is very light and easy to use, and it's free. Yeah, yeah you know, so. Why don't you give it a try? I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll make some more videos about video scribes. Happy video scribing. Thank you.